Well, hello everyone, welcome yourselves back in to Going Medieval. This is Lonzi's Liberators, and we're here. <laughs> we mean business, baby. Now, in the last episode, if you remember, we got up to three of these. Dwight joined us, we now have five colonists, and we built an underground store. So we started putting food down in here. We made a few mistakes with our buildings, but we did learn from that, so that's fine. And we're going to be building a few more here as well. So underneath, it's not the best. It's 13 degrees, but it's better than up top. So stuff will decompose, but we'll be cooking as we go along as well. So welcome yourselves back, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new around here, I am Lonzi, and we play all things colony builder here. So we started building up our clay wall as well. And just before we finished, we did, in fact, get a caravan and merchants set up. So we are also building cartography table in here. And once we have everything we need here, we will be able to start looking around the map as well. And I've got a few trees set to be cut. So we've been doing just the bigger ones as always. So I'm going to go through and grab a few more as well that are ready. Not many, but most of them are okay. These are dead, so we can go ahead and chop down all the dead ones anyway. And yeah, we're, we're pretty good, really. We're just prepping, because actually, before we know it, it'll be autumn. We are officially 18 days in, and to be honest, we're all right. We're making some wine, and I'll just show you where we're at with the research. So we officially have this. We've got three more made now. We're going to go into probably research two in a moment. I don't have to grab all the tier ones before we move on, though. But at the moment, we can go into, obviously, these types of things as well. That would be for bricks and stone carving, uh, for just stone walls. But there are, like, statues and stuff, which might help with happiness as well. And then we've got defensive structures, which I would love to get into wooden traps. But I'm not sure where you get mechanical components from. We'll have to see. Although, we actually, we do have wood carving here. That might be the way. And wood weaponry and fletching. But at the moment, we do have, obviously, our bowyer table which we did grab as well, and we are going to make a second one. Oh, I didn't put that in, did I? So, let's go ahead and get our barrier table set down as well by our books here. And house is getting a bit cramped, actually. But soon this stockpile will be moved. We're going to have a separate stock room for that. This is going to be main living area, I think. We could even continue downstairs for stock and have all stockpiles down there, actually. It's not the most efficient, but it might be a good idea. Let me figure this one out. So if we have main food store here, we dig out a section there. I say maybe that. Let's go. Let's go. No, we're going to have a doorway going in. So we're going to make a butcher room down in here. And then we'll have the stockpile for that butcher stuff down in here as well. So I think we'll go something like, we'll leave that one wall there. Bring it up. Maybe something like that. I think that's a decent size, and we'll allow that to be dug out there as well. Bibbly, I don't know how you're... Oh, you're a cat. Up and, down, <laughs> up and down the ladder, you're fine. We'll leave you to it. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at, guys. And we're going to continue to smelt up the clay where possible. And we're going to go back in and make sure everyone's on the right jobs again now. As it stands, Audrey should be doing the cooking and hunting, which she is. And we're going to need to prep winter clothing eventually. So actually, we do have one piece here, and I'm not sure if there's any other types of caps we can grab. We're very basic on the clothing here, but winter clothes are, are the play here. So I might go up to two on that one, so we've got some ready. And yeah, all in all, it's going to be a lot of prep work, and we're going to continue grabbing whatever we can resource-wise in the wild for food and bushes. I did check to see if you can plant the bush. I'm not seeing how you do that. Check our seeds as well. So seeds themselves are useful because we can then see what else we can put in. And it looks like we have a whole bunch of flax that we can plant. So where's our flax field? That's herbs. That's flax. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and expand this out. So we'll go maybe something like that. The flax is going to be useful still for the clothing, isn't it? There's still a little bit out here that we can grab too. So if they're ready out here, I will get them. That one's dead. That one's ripe, so let's make sure we grab those in. The reason we want all the berries is for the wine. We do need to continue this on, so I've got to make sure the baking does happen. Digging is happening now as well, so let's go up a little bit more here. Let's say to 100 with the clay we have. Is that class's handle? I guess the kiln is handling. 
And yeah, we oh we did lose a goat last episode as well, but we did realize that you can actually just put the animal feed on a pile there, which does help. Whole cats do come and try and steal the food as well. They're hungry, look. He's gonna try and get in, and he does come through the fence and come and steal some of the food. You cheeky little sod. You could put like a trap or two around it. It's actually not a bad idea. If they come at the food, we could do that. We could go like this. I reckon we might be able to trap some if it comes through that fence bit anyway. Let's try it. I mean, there's no harm in that, right? We're eventually going to make the kill zone. I think I said over here, didn't I, as well? So that's going to be handy. And hopefully we'll have those trees. Let's speed it up, though, and let's get out and through this one as much as we can. One of the best things we can get is beetroots, though. The beets are incredible. They really, really are. Um, I'm also going to go up to 40 on that production-wise now for research, too. Let's go see how he's getting on downstairs. So that has been dug out now. So what we'll say is this one. Let's actually deconstruct that zone there. And let's get this butcher table moved downstairs into his dark and dingy basement. And then we'll get a doorway on this. Because I imagine butchery is an ugly piece of work similar to RimWorld. We'll get a door in there. Uh, I don't know whether it helps to put flooring down in these. So I'll probably do that as well. I'm sure it helps with that. Cleanliness. There's the hay flooring, actually, isn't there? Wicker floor, limestone floor. Let's go limestone floor. Why not? And then here we'll go... Because we've got pl plenty of limestone spare. We'll set a new um, stockpile zone here. Just something like that. And what we can say in this one is clear all, and then we'll have carcass just there. So all the carcasses go down in there. We can make this room bigger, obviously. So I think that might be a good idea. Let's go with maybe that. We can have the carcasses stored in there. I am going to use underground for all food stuff, I think. And we can kind of reduce this stuff away. And then once I've got my better furniture store and stuff, we'll go with that as well. I still need a bed for you. So that's being built. So three, four, five. So this bed needs finishing. And then I think what we'll say is, Dwight, you have Oak Brethren Religious Assignment, which is this one. I'm going to go ahead and relocate that over to you as well so let's relocate you in here you get that one and we'll also get another torch so obviously you need six in there, but that's fine let's go with you there and then that bed obviously i'm going to assign to you so adam when you wake up can you get that one done as well we're looking good are we making we're still not making these so i'm sure we have the raw material yeah we got 414 clay I think there's just too much for them to do at the moment ah nice right this has been done so actually we can go ahead and get kind of want them we've got two ranged guys garfield still doesn't have one his marksman is terrible but his melee's okay marksman eight for adam but his melee 17 civil likes melee audrey and dwight both have bows what i might do is change this then what we'll say for adam is we can say all weapons, and what I'll do is get him to drop these. We'll say all shields, no shields, and then we'll go uh, melee one-hander for Garf Garwolf here. We've got passion for melee, so we'll go with him, and then Adam can go with Marksman, because he's an eight. So I think that makes sense, and what we'll do is just one, one short bow there as well. I think that'll be useful. So three bows makes me feel a little bit better for when we, uh, when we inevitably do get attacked. All right, so Sybil has been hard at work on the side of intellect. 27 right now. Passion really, really does help. And I think, is it the, the higher level, the quicker they are for this? I'm not sure. But Iridite skill as well, which is helping pretty big. Pretty big, that is. And then is that bed finished now? It is. So what I'm going to say, this is going to be Dwight. So we've got Dwight got garwolf and we've got audrey right so the other two guys are in there we will obviously fix them a bed as well all right here we go attack the mountain bandits they appear silently eyes hollow hair wild smelling rancid and daubed with blood everyone in lonzi's liberators recognize these pillagers as assailants of the most deadly kind. okay one archer four marauders okay i'm gonna pause it a second then so we're gonna draft everyone up so i'm gonna say all of you guys are just gonna be drafted right now We'll start with these two. Let's draft these up onto our tower here. We could go meet them. But I'm not going to do that. And these three we're going to draft around the bottom. And then we'll use those to kind of attack. Mainly Garwolf up front though. Then we'll see where, they, uh, where they're coming from. 
Hopefully we can nab a weapon or two from them. We are seeing some shields and stuff, though. I guess you can take prisoners. I'm not sure if that works how Rimworld does. That would be really cool if it did. But either way, we're fine. We've got the longbow. We've got certain stuff. We'll get these spread out here, and then we'll make sure we have. Let's get Adam on the stairs temporarily. Sybil, Garwolf are going to go this. have them ready to fight. I am, this is obviously my first ever fight in this game, so obviously bear with. I don't know if this is going to be viable in any way, shape, or form. So what I'm going to do is bring these guys, uh, maybe bring you to the front. Might lure them into a trap or two here. Could come in pretty handy. But yeah, I think kill box is going to be very important. Maybe an animal to fight for us. We'll see, though. Just see what happens here. That's a wooden, wooden thing. Right, can you shoot at that? Can you shoot at that too? Come on. Make the shot. Shot. Okay, that is a good start. Not the best, but... I'm going to say Garwolf. All right, the trap's doing anything? Trap misfire. Lovely. Okay, it's doing something. Let's send you in. Adam. We're going to come around here as well. And we're just going to absolutely annihilate these guys. Yeah, we should be good. Garwolf, do you want to go in? Attack this sucker as well. Looks like we do get the weapons as well, and the armor, so this is really, really good. Oh yes, Sybil, you absolute beast. These two, though, we definitely need to hit our shots here. So yeah, traps are going to be the play then with a the kill box. I think we'll, we'll need to focus on that. Okay, taking heavy blow to their forces, the aggressive fee. Archer, Elmer is dead, and there's our victory. Beautiful, so we are going to say... Everyone, attack this sucker here. We're going to say all of this. So I wonder if do we have... We are going to allow this stuff. Dagger. Hmm. We'll allow. And can we... Do we want to be cannibals? <laughs> I'm not sure. I will allow this stuff for now. Um, but what we'll need to do is make sure we... The, the shields are good. I'm not sure how I feel about the clothing. Don't think you have the same issue with... Um, yeah, it's all flimsy. Is there anything that isn't flimsy here? Sturdy. We'll allow these two sturdy pieces. Wolf headpiece. Gameson? No no idea what that is. But that's cool. So, we've got a bit of bleeding. <laughs> Can you have shield with a spear? That is the question. That does work having the archers up top then. So that wasn't the, the end of the world. There's a war bow that's sturdy there. That sounds pretty good. 3.7 DPS, 98% precision, and 18 meter range. So, let's check out... The DPS of one of the 4.0, 18 meter range. The longbow is better. Shortbow, not so much. It's precision on shortbow, but DPS is rubbish. So, might force quite. Ah, you need a marksman 10. It's going to take him a while then to get up to that, isn't it? Although, he almost leveled up to 2 on that one. So, if we send him out hunting, we could get him leveled up quite quickly, actually. So, let's change his job. So, Dwight, you're going to become a hunter here. And we're going to send Audrey to a 2 on that now. There, because we need that level 10. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. I love I love uh, games that attack anyway. It's, it's just what it's all about for me. Do you have to reset the traps too? Or are they just up now? I don't have to say yes to these anyway. Male armor. Oh, that one's in, in good shape. It's fast as armor, so maybe. I guess we take it for now. We'll find a store for it. Right, let's see where we're at with research then. So we're on 9, available. Lovely stuff. I think we need to go to 45 on this. I'm going to go up to 45. Ah, oh, right, that excites me. That excites me. That was a, a nice first attack. I enjoyed that. A bit more wood as well. So all these ones that are now grown a little bit, we'll get those out. And let's force someone to actually come ahead and do this. Uh, We need a bit of a... A dumping stockpile somewhere for human remains too. We don't want them near base. Put human carcasses over there. And then we'll set those for falling. Get rid of those. I don't want dead bodies lay around. And we got one over there, haven't we? What did you have as well? One one sturdy hood and a summer clothes. That's fine. Get that going. And then weapons rack. I'm not sure how many you can hold. Four? Maybe? Power shield. Right, we might need to get another weapons rack in then. Let's just put that there for now. We'll get all this hauled over. Let's move all of these bodies out of the way they're doing. And then I guess they just decompose out there. 21 days and then pile rots. Nutrition from the human though, if we wanted to go into cannibalism. 
Uh, I don't think I want to. Although, yeah, I don't know. Let's uh, let's hunt that deer as well, so we can start leveling up Dwight. And let's see if there's anything else he can hunt. There is. Might not be so bad to tame the deer, but I think we'll stick with the goats for now. Adam has gained perk heat resistance. Adam has turned 49 today. Okay. Any chance of you being... Oh, Ivy Shrub. Yeah, we could... If we can buy cows too, that would be ideal. Let's get this cartography table and see if there is something we can trade for animals. That will keep us going through the uh, the winter then, won't it? I think what I'll say for Audrey is prioritize production of the, uh, the clay as well once she's finished praying. Yep, let's go. Let's get some clay smelting up. Our stockpile is so full. Uh, and then we'll, we need to decide where we're going to have our main stockpile, really. I'm very happy with uh, this game, man. It's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's nice to have a new flavor of uh, what I was playing with Alien Dawn for so long, you know? And obviously RimWorld. It's a good blend of both, actually, because it's 3D, but with very much... Obviously, the medieval side of it is pretty cool as well. I do love all things medieval. So that's pretty cool. Um, I really want to know how we smoke fish. I'll have a poke around on uh, on on that one there, and we'll see. I've just tried to Google it. I didn't realize that was actually part of the new update as well, the fishing stuff. So we'll have to figure that one out. I couldn't see a way of smoking it on here, and I can't see a way of doing it this side either. It can obviously be used for the cooking meals, but it would have been nice to do smoked fish. But I have a feeling it could be a research. All right, so we're being hit by a hailstorm, it seems. So an icy volley heralded of fierce hailstorm. The settlers of Lonzi's liberators could only shiver uneasily. Okay, I think we have the clothing. For Why is there a hailstorm in the middle of the summer? That's what I want to know. Sorry, animals. So, so very sorry. I don't know whether it's worth us just getting loads of traps up early then, because you can move them anyway. Or we just, as these bake, we make sure the walls are... Put up. That's being built here as well. I think that hail is lagging me up a little bit. What I'm going to do is actually go ahead and get a, um, a grated door. That takes iron. Wicked door. Okay, we can't do any solid doors actually. We don't really want them to be able to come straight at the doors yet. But we will need some kind of doors, right? I'm going to put one there. Alright, let's check everyone's mood as well. So, Adam's looking good. Audrey's good. White's looking good. Garwolf's good. And Dibble is okay. So I think getting a thatch or two would be a good idea. I'm just going to go downstairs right real quick. And we're going to extend this one here. There we go. We're going to put all the uh, the dead bodies up in that one as well. And we're going to go out and hunt a bit more again. This uh, The hail has turned into rain. I'm getting a bit of lag right now. So we've got that deer hunting there. Okay. White, you're supposed to be doing that. I think eventually it'd be better if we get stairs because the lad is a little bit slow to go downstairs. He is going to hunt now, which is good as well. I want to point out we got 92 rough wine now as well, which is awesome. He's already level 3 on the marksman by, by doing this, actually. I am lagging heavily. What is going on here? I need to restart. It's okay at 1x, actually. It's just if I speed it up. It seems to be juddery. Just keeping an eye on him here, see how much he gets. He, do, he does go up pretty quick, so that's good. There we go, he made the shot. Now, it's not the end of the world that he misses anyway, because at the end of the day, it's all just to level up this. Obviously, we need the food and the materials for clothing, but that is fine. So as it stands, we've got loads of summer clothes. Not much winter clothes. I'm not sure whether the guys have managed to go into that. It does look like... Okay, so we do have Garwolf there. Okay, and then Adam now has a flail. I'm not sure what weapon to give him. The DPS is only 2.09 it's flimsy so i don't know whether to let's see what we have there's a dagger but actually if we look let's see what we have we've got a two-hander dagger's dps is a little bit better actually let's grab the dagger for you as well and then we can obviously force equip when we have better weapons as well so i'm assuming like axes and stuff are good i feel a little bit better with the now that we've got two shields so we can just hold like the front here as well behind the traps not concerned at all with that all right, guys, just so you know, then I have just restarted to fix that. So hopefully we've got no more jittery. And I've just noticed that we did finish that doorway. So I'm going to bring the clay bricks. That's a lot, but I'm going to bring it up to there. And uh, we're going to start. I think we're going to have an opening probably here. If I work on maybe what we want to do with that, have one of these up the front, maybe two of these separated so they can only attack one at a time when they get up there. And then we'll set up maybe a little kill box of traps for the walkthrough as well. I'm hoping and assuming it works similar to RimWorld and Alien Dawn for the attacks. 
I'm just manually forcing the clay production here because I'm not actually sure what goes under that. Is it crafting? It is. Okay, so craft. We need to get someone maining the craft here. But it's a non-skill item. So, Audrey, you're the main cook, so we're not going to use you. I think Dwight will be fine for that. So, hunting, crafting. Hunting and crafting. Let's go with that. So, we'll get the bricks constantly going. I think that's important. And uh, what that'll do is means we can get all this done, right? Then I could potentially mine out a bit more clay. There's a little patch there. I guess we just, we go with what we have at the moment. At the moment, we've got 334. We are going to need a fair bit, and I do want to get this done uh, as with quite quite a bit of importance. So maybe we go with those patches there. We'll get a bit of clay from that. Then once we have the research, I think I'm going to bite the bullet and just get this terraforming done. It's 45, though, because ideally I want to fill out this little bit here so we can get the walls around. He's already done quite a few pieces of those, so that's really good. Right. You know what? Because of that, I'm just going to keep this going. So it's going to go to there. I think that's more than enough build space, and we can obviously expand it. And let's bring this this way a little bit, and then we'll have maybe a four opening there. Let's bring that over. And then I can fill up around this. I don't want it to be a perfect box anyway, so I think we'll go like that, and it will come up and around here. I don't know whether to encompass that as like a mining area as well, but we'll start with that, I think. I think I will be digging a moat around. That is very, very late game, though. Lots more fermenting juice coming in as well, which is nice. Very, very good. I think we can harvest all these now, and we'll get a bunch of those up and ready. And then let's see if there's any more in the wild, which there is. Let's make sure we grab those as well. Whole bunch over here. We can get harvested. Oh, look at this. We've got two baby goats. Yes. Nice. Okay. We can always get the animal feed going and then making sure we got the meals as well. So I think we're actually, I would don't want to jinx it, but we're in a pretty good place for the winter. I think everyone's got winter coats. We might go up to five on that. We'll go as many as we need. Or oh, you know what? We'll make sure that's at one. And then what we'll do is add a new one in. And we'll say this one can go at the top. I'll do it properly. We'll have that one at the top and we're going to say amount. We're going to do it. Three more times. I think we've got two in stock. So if we go three more, then it will do the one spare there as well. We'll get that craft done and ready. And then as far as this goes, I think I'll get a second one in. And I'll make sure the baking gets done. I might even put you on a one for that, Dwight, if I'm honest. I think so. so that's stonemason's bench, kiln, icebox, butchery table, and apothecary bench. So butchery table actually then is important as well. So I didn't even realize that the butchery was done on basic craft. I thought that was done under cooking. If, if bear in mind, I'm recording in advance, so guys, if you have already shouted at me for that, sorry. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else we can hunt as well. Okay, what do we have? Knock it. Ooh. There's cattle there. We're going to tame that. Definitely going to tame that. Hopefully, it doesn't require to be tamed. No. That's a female, so that's going to give us milk. We need a couple of those, because actually, if we can get a whole bunch of milk, that'd be great. All of these enemy corpses are disintegrating as well. I don't know if you could do graves like in RimWorld. Honestly, no idea. That's definitely a good place to be with if we can get that cow as well, though. And we can just pop that in with these guys as well for now. Just one on its own for the milk is good. And I'm going to go ahead and get one more. I'm not going to go clay brick, though. We're going to go back to wood here, and we're going to get another one in. But I don't really want to take over these bushes, because they've been really good. Let's just do it the same size. It says moderate, though. Is there any downside to me doing a different size? I don't think so. Just do that. There we go. And then we can get our doorways. Door. Windows. I am doing them all the same to start. Much as you guys might hate that. Then we'll get the, the usual thatched roof on top. And I'll make sure that is... And then once that's done, we only need the one more, right? We'll get that sorted. And we need the wooden flooring. Let's make sure we've got everything we need for this. So material-wise, fodder, we've got a little bit of hay. We need to make sure we've got a little bit more as well because we're actually using that to feed our uh, animals as well. So that's what's being used to make that. We could kill some of these polecats, actually. There's also some barley out here. How many more do we want? Let's grab maybe two more lots. Fine. Could be more than enough than we need. Settlement-wise, though, it's definitely coming along, isn't it, guys? Need to decide. Yeah, we definitely need to terraform then to get this done. Look how much clay that we just got as well. So we should be more than fine to uh, get all of this around. And I'll put the doorways in afterwards. 
if I come to there, and then we go there. And this will have to terraform and bring out. All right, so Audrey is straight on that. We'll get the bed moved in, and I'll decide who gets that one. <laughs> Probably get that moved in now, actually. Worst case is they don't have a bed for a little bit. Get that down there. And then I can put in the religious statue. So if I hover over a room, I think it... Does it work how I wanted it to? The actual room itself isn't very aesthetic. Aesthetic value. Is that because it's the floor piece? One thing I've noticed is you don't need to worry about cleaning on this one. Uh, maybe a statue or some art pieces inside of those will be handy as well. Alright, I'm going to change Civil back to writing now to get this sorted. Oh my god, another settler? What have we got here? Some said Tales of the Progeny. Progeny, progeny, eating people were poppycock, but they crossed themselves when Andrew appeared, having escaped as the brutes were sharpening their knives. If cannibals came looking for their lunch, would you keep Andrew off the menu? Hmm, carpentry, construction, and mining. Okay, he's a caring monk. He has lots of perks. Two archers, four marauders. I feel like we could fight them, and I want loads of people, so screw it. Get yourself over here. <laughs> um, it's another bed we're going to need, obviously. We'll sort Andrew out. We'll get impatient, all good, and attending well. Let's check in on him then. What's he got? So he's Sunseeker. A few golden rays is all it takes to bring out the best in him. That's good. Uh, that's not good. Um, three. Okay, Chili always complains of draft and chills. Beachcraft and bargain. That's good for trading. And Swigger. Thirsty work. He likes to drink on the job. Bit of a legendary monk, eh? Let's manage him then, and what we'll say for Andrew is you can have all weapons, shields, all headgear, all hat, and all armor. Then we're going to go eating profile. Still keep it the same on that, because at the moment we have our cooked, we got loads of smoked meat that everyone can eat. We're in a good spot for that one. Need that tame to happen. And then let's check in on his schedule as well. I forgot that we didn't put the other guys on a schedule, did we? Let's make sure they are pretty much matching. Yeah, that works. They get up an hour later. No problem. Let's just do that. And then jobs. Andrew, you're good there. So you like to hunt. You're not going to have a weapon yet. Construction. I might allow that. He's going to bodge some stuff, but that's okay. And mining you can do. And then carpentry. So making items and weapons out of wood. So he's going to produce bad ones to start with, but it'd be good to start leveling that. Uh, so he's a, he's a bit of an all-rounder again. All in all, though, he isn't bad. If we have a look... His intellectual is 22. Um, Tailoring is not bad. Animal handling is great. So actually, we could go for animal handling. He could be one of the mains for that. Yeah, he's same level. So let's pop him as a 2 there as well. Then he can handle the animals when he gets a chance. And hopefully he'll heal up. Someone does heal him. I'm hobbling about. What weapon did you go for, my friend? A flail. Two-handed flail. Okay. Go lie down, mate. Yeah, minus one per hour. I think he's all right. He's, he's gone into that bed. Have you decided that's yours now, mate? Yep, that's fine. You can have that room then. Why not? Right, his religion then is... He is the... What is it? Restitution Shrine, which is... That one. I'm going to copy one of those in as well. Oh. I think that's a smart way of doing it. Just getting them all their own little setup. I have no issues doing that. He should be good and healing now. We've got six people to fight if they do attack. So one day, one hour is the search party. One fierce marauder, one archer. Right, we need to plan this out a little bit better then. So let's get a few more of these stick traps in. First and foremost, I want them along here. We're not going to be ready for that anyway, but that's fine. And then we can get another layer of them across here. We might have time to do this. And then we can use those anyway and move them across. Lots to do. We've got a bit of a perimeter coming up, though, so I am quite happy with that. But, guys, that is going to be where we end this one out, officially on six survivors. Please do smash the thumbs up for me. It really, really does help me push the videos out. If you aren't subscribed, please do that as well. I'm all about city builders and colony builders here, so if you like that sort of thing, please, please help me and do that. As always, guys, do take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one.